Gabe Kelsher, two free throws, makes it a five-point game. Nine-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Harmon, working on Kelsher. Blocked by Oshudian. Obana for three. Yes! They've done a nice job the last few possessions limiting Harmon's penetration, not allowing him to get left. I actually thought he got fouled. Because I thought Kalsher wrapped his arm around him right there. I thought he got fouled. But how about Jalen Tyson? Just extra plays on the glass. The job that Texas Tech has done on the offensive glass in this second half, playing this pressure for a minute, for a, a, a few seconds. They get it into Grill. Tip ball out of bounds. But it will stay Iowa State basketball. And that's the guy you want to catch it. Caleb Grill not comfortable handling against pressure. Away and clawed their way back into this game down just two. 23 seconds to go with the ball. Here's Harmon, got the foul, and will go to the line. Really nice set. You run O'Banner to the rim, and then you get Davey and Harmon just duck it in there. How strong has he been at the rim? See, there's the diversion, and then Lipsy doesn't play that well. He gives Harmon the angle inside, and a good under out-of-bounds pass. And here you go, Rich. Couple free throws. It's been a struggle in the first half for Davian Harmon, scoreless. But all 10 of his points have come in the second half. And we have a one-point ball game with Davion Harmon, the senior out of Denton, Texas. A chance to tie this up. And he does. And Iowa State has a timeout. Last shot time for the Cyclones. Ten seconds. Five to shoot. Lipsy. Kalsher for the win. Oh, it's short. And we're going to overtime in Lubbock. It'll be Jones for Iowa State and O'Banner for Texas Tech jumping it up. And it's won by Tech. Here's Davion Harmon. All of his points coming in the second half. But now he gets an assist to Williams. And his penetration's drawn a lot of attention now. If you're a cutter off the ball, Harmon's going to find you. First lead of the game for Texas Tech. That foul on Jalen Tyson. Cheap points. You know, those are killer fouls. You don't need to play with your hands. They've had a hard enough time scoring against your defense. You can't let them walk to the foul with a little ticky-tack one out here. And Lipsy, the freshman, calmly knocks down the first free throw. Off to the left on the second one. Tech with a one-point lead and the ball. Looking for their first win in Big 12 play after eight straight losses. Harmon, short. Loose ball. Lipsy comes away with it. And he wants to run. Kalsher. Oh. Take to the cup. Gabe Kalsher. And a good decision by Kalsher to drive it. That's the aggressive play to make. And I don't think he walked. Iowa State back on top. 
Catch and shoot three. No. Caleb Grill the rebound. You know, it's interesting. T.J. Oxenberger has Robert Jones on the floor, I think, because he's better switching on to Harmon when that happens than Oshuna E. Here's Kalsha. All 18 points from two-point range. And he gets it back. Grill! Short. Just his second miss from three tonight. Here's the lob. Jones can't finish. Three minutes to go in OT. And Holmes is going to get the foul. And that's... He missed them both. Offensive rebound, Tyson. Another offensive board. And they come up empty. Iowa State, one point lead and the ball. Lipsy, the blow by. Wow. Taman Lipsy. What a decision. He saw the defense relax for a second when he pulled up. Here's Harmon working on Lipsy. Tough two in the paint for Davion Harmon. Harmon's just going big boy, especially when Lipsy's on him. Tell you what, no sooner were we lamenting Tame and Lipsy's play in the second half, he has come up with some huge plays for Iowa State. Counting down to two minutes to go in OT. Five to shoot. Holmes does short. Tech down one. Harmon against Oshunie. Oshunie not going to be able to keep the ball in front. Again, that's why I think Robert Jones was in the game to start the overtime. <laughs> Iowa State now has one timeout remaining. And they trail by one with a buck 27 to go on the road. Epic comeback by Texas Tech. And now they lead by one. A minute 20 to go in OT. Ten on the clock. Holmes hesitated. Kalsher looked for a foul. And did he get it? He did. Yeah, he fouls him. So when you, get, you get a shooter on the arm like that, that's got to be called. Kalsher front ends the first free throw. Kalsher has two more coming. And that wow. one rolls in. We're tied for just the second time tonight. And we remain tied. One minute to go in Lubbock. Another classic in the Big 12 tonight. Mm. Here's Tyson. Harmon. With Kalsher on him, the best defender for Iowa State, but Kalsher will be whistled for the foul. That's the fourth foul on Gabe Kalsher. You know, a lot of times we talk about shot makers, you know, three-point shooters, shoot perimeter shooters being in a zone. You can get into a zone driving the ball. Davian Harmon is in that zone. 
I mean, he's been unguardable driving the basketball, and it's really been both hands. I mean, he has been very dominant left throughout the season, but he's so in a zone. He's going right, and he's so strong. Harmon, just a 68% free throw shooter, makes the first. is the second. Oshuni snares it. Thirty-four and a half to go. Twenty on the shot clock. Grill slipped. Fires. Can't hit. Rebound Texas Tech. Shot clock is off. And Lipsy fouls O'Banner. I mean, look, he's been on fire this game. I, I think that's a desperation shot. I don't like it. A one-point differential. Get something going to the basket. You could get fouled. It, it's a tough three that was really well defended by Harmon. And Grill probably traveled when he caught it. And then after that, you're just kind of in a, in a rush. As well as he, as he has shot it, that's a tough shot in that spot. Kevin O'Banner steps to the line, 9 for 13 from the strike tonight. You still got plenty of time here if you're Iowa State. They don't have any timeouts. Texas Tech has won. <laughs> Now a team in Lipsy will step off and Trey King will come on. Huge. He's been an absolute stud in this second half. Six points in the first, but now 17 in the second half for Kevin O'Banner. And his 18th second half point gives him against the number one team in this league, the Iowa State Cyclones. Here we go. Holmes. Grill. Another force three. Way off. King got it back. Here's Holmes for three. Short. Time is running out for the Cyclones. And Texas Tech completes the improbable comeback. They're storming the court in Lubbock.